Eventually, an important sponsor, Martha White Flower, who had been having success with Flat and Scruggs on an early Virginia-based television show, intervened. Martha White was a huge sponsor of the Grand Ole Opry, WSM. And it was like, look, they're our boys. Flat and Scruggs, they're the boys, you know, and we're, we're going to stand by them. And um, if they're not members, we're pulling our advertisement. <coughs> so it was like, okay. He, he soon mellowed down to where it wasn't upsetting him that bad. Thank you. I took my banjo part for you. Put two Jim on there and I'll act like I know you. Bluegrass music that started in the 40s has prospered well through to the present day, in part due to the expanded fan base established by Flat and Scruggs. They became an important part of the folk revival in the early 60s, made regular appearances on the hit TV show The Beverly Hillbillies, and their music was used in Hollywood film classic Bonnie and Clyde. recorded everything that we ever knew and could get our hands on and uh, was getting back into re-recording stuff that we had recorded earlier. I got to playing with my boys there at, the, at our house. They'd have friends who'd come in so we'd have picking sessions and out of the whole thing I just got so eager to do something else until Lester and I just went our separate ways with the music. Although Flatt and Scruggs eventually split up in 1969, Earl Scruggs continues to pioneer new uses of the banjo. I always felt there was no reason to hold the instrument back. If it'd work in a band, let it go. So I went with that feeling and never been sorry about it. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. After World War II, a new generation of country music fans was moving from the farm into the factories, oil fields, and coal mines. 